Yep. Hey! You there? Can you help? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. What? Easy now. There he is. Hey, easy now. Easy does it, eh? You better calm you down. Make it easy now. Whoa. Easy. Whoa now. There, boy. Come on, Dan. Let's get you back. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. You can't go bucking him like that. You better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. It ain't far now. Nothing gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> you're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish. Enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's Run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again.
Hey there! That's right, pretty horse. Thank you. Mister? Hello, mister. This is turning into one of them days. Howdy, partner. Whoa, now. What's going on? How are you holding up? Wake up! Please, for the love of all that's holy, I'm talking money, people! for the blind. Do you want to know? What is Later get home, ma. They put through it all right. Oh, yeah. Hello, sister. Hey, it on. Brother Dorkins and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorkins? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became... Well, not impossible, but ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh, what fun. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. <laughs> to me... God is people, and people are God, so we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. 
the actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. to bring me, Mr. Morgan. I have four very hungry mouths to feed. Some, well, not enough for four, I don't reckon. Please try to get some more. These children are desperate for a good meal. And bless you again for trying. Hey, partner. No time Look like here. the present, Mr. Morgan. You know what, sister? I think I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat mine. <laughs> you are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. As you wish. Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Any contribution, no matter how small. Hey, friend. Fanny Hello. Is looking for a new How's seamstress. things? Marie Let's just say it can only get better. Well, all the best, then. You take care now. Hello, ma'am. Oh, hello there. Decent town you got here. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll leave you to it. Striking. Hi, folks. Hey, mister. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Hey. Hey, why aren't you Anyway, working? folks, please don't mind me. So much work see you around. Gentlemen. Hello. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Hmm. You know, a good place, get some food? I'm afraid I cannot help you. I was just asking. Until next time. My brother just told me. Mr. Howdy, fellas. Hello. Hello, mister. I've had better days, that's for sure. I know how you feel. Ah, well, it ain't your problem. I'll be seeing you. I have to say, life is pretty good. Well, that's good. Well, let's hope it continues, huh? All right. Bye now. Anything anyone can give me, please help me. Please, you, yes, please, coin, please, please, a coin, won't you lend a coin to a Go get yourself need? something to eat. <laughs> Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Ah, it's you. Uh. Travels have brought you back my way, have they? Uh. Remember, read the label. Uh, just tell me what you'd like. Oh, 
Okay, then. Appreciate it. Take care. Bonsoir. Hey, evening. Hello, sirs. Calm Calm down. Hey, Don't you even want to be Have a nice rich? evening. It's too bad. It really is. is. Can Partner? somebody horse right. with him for me, please? Hello, gentlemen. The love of all that is holy. Are you well? Y'all doing all right? Not too well. Can you keep it down a bit, Lillian? Ah, shut up! I can yeah, what's your pleasure? Really relax. Enjoy. Je vous salue. Enjoy the night, then. Bonjour. Good meal, I hope. Gentlemen, you're embarrassing yourselves. You're not even good drunks. Why, hello. You don't want to sleep alone now, do you? I apologize for the noise, sir. She's, uh, had whatever one you too like. many. You Nothing like a good beer. Oh. You'll think of what you could have had when you kiss your wife goodnight. <laughs> This town is well, so quiet, one, aren't you? Boring. Boring. All of you. You're all alone, boring. handsome man. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You look like you need to let off some steam. Not an interesting mind or a nasty habit among the lot of you. This place used to be sophisticated. <laughs> Stories I heard would make a Have devil a blush. You ain't gonna do hey, Mister. Hello there. Not anymore. Careful. Thanks, Mister. You want to be poor like the rest of these Good evening, fools? Mister. You're going the right way about it. <laughs> You've got what you deserve. Real You're good, boy. Me and all good evening, I could sir. Offer you. <laughs> Buy this goddamn book. It explains high finance in very simple terms and how you can laugh at poor people. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, 
being a fancy woman of sand and he shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. I'm ashamed. He's cutting in there. My son paid another child to do this. Hit first. That child practically doesn't have a mouth anymore. How about that? Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Where's this shooter then?
viaje. Your boss is gonna swing, I promise. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges are... This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! How you get on, Arthur? Well, <clears throat> we saw the bastard hang okay, but <clears throat> the whole thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess, compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? 
She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Arthur. Hi, Mary Beth. It's gonna be all right. I feel like a prisoner here. We won't be here for too long. We just need an escape plan. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. seen eye to eye, you and me. I guess I thought that things always came too easy to you. But here we are. What are we going to do about all this? About Dutch? Stick with them. Be on that. Maybe we can stop things from going too far. Still, things are going to end bad. They surely will. You watch yourself. like a horse ran over me. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Gotcha. Susan? Tough times, Mr. Morgan. You okay, Susan? All those years and look at us. It's pathetic. I know. Just I ain't sure what to do. All right. Reverend? Arthur? Hello. How are you holding up? I feel I should be asking you that. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. All right, Mr. Morgan.
Hey, Abigail. Arthur. How are you holding up? I'm okay. How are you? You don't look so good. I'll be fine. Just worry about you and Jack. Uh-huh. John. Hello, Arthur. Really feels like it's splitting into two sides here. I know. Well, just keep your ear to the ground. All right then, Arthur. Hey, Abigail. Hello. How are you holding up? I'm okay. How are you? You don't look so good. I'll be fine. Just worry about you and Jack. I suppose so. Hi, Pearson. Fire's good and hot, Mr. Morgan. How are you holding up? Not so good. What are we gonna do, Mr. Morgan? Just hang in there, okay? Sure, Arthur. How you doing? Been thinking more about Dutch and Eagle Flies. It can only end badly. Well, there's only so much we can do about it. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Mm-hmm. Okay there, boy. Easy, boy. <sighs> Come on, boy.
Stay alert there, Javier. Arthur? Can we talk? I don't have much to say to you right now. There. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. And how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Oh, well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay. Calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. <laughs> you make it look so easy. All right. You try now. Remember to breathe. Just to breathe out. <laughs> Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. Anyway, my turn. Come on, come on. Yes! I hit it! I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> what can I 
I say thank you? I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here, and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are.
I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. That... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. 